Then you can simply take the nuts and push or the bolts and push them straight down. You don't have to remove them all the way, just as long as they're down far enough where you'll be able to slide the motor base over. And now what you want to do is take a number six Allen and loosen the socket head screws on the clutch. Now you can simply take this, slide the motor over far enough, and then you can tilt it back, and now you can remove the clutch. And once the clutch is removed, you can take the new clutch, slide it back on, line the motor back up, push the bolts back through, and then you can put the nuts back on here. Put them on loosely at first because you may need to make some adjustments. And you can also see where the marks are actually on the motor base themselves. That's where everything was lined up. You want to make sure everything's as square as possible. And before you tighten everything down, it's very important that the clutch slides smoothly across both shafts. If it does not slide smoothly across both shafts, that could be simply because the motor base is not lined up properly. So you just need to make sure that it is. If the clutch doesn't slide smoothly across both shafts, premature wear can occur. Once you have everything lined up properly, just tighten the, base, the nuts down for the motor base. And you just hand tighten them. There's no need to crank down on them overly. Once you tighten those back down, then the clutch is sliding smoothly across both shafts. It's also very important that the clutch gets pushed up against the spacer. That means everything's lined up. If you have it slid back here, what can happen is over the course of time, it can separate the inside of the clutch. You do not want that to happen. Make sure you push that all the way over against that spacer. Then what you want to do is tighten down one side, and you'll notice that as you tighten it down, there's a gap between the top of the clamp and the bottom of the clamp. You want the gap on each side to be equal. It doesn't have to be exact, but you don't want one side over the other. And you can see how that side's equal to that side. And you want to do the same thing 
on this side as well. And again, hand tighten them. And then you want to just check to make sure the gaps are okay. And you spin them and that's basically the clutch replacement. 